There are not a whole lot of molded components who could withstand abuse like this. Silicone, however, can do this all day long. So when you need a part that is flexible, chemically resistant, and inert, Ash Industries Silicone Injection Molding Group is a place you want to go. Silicone molding can be incredibly flexible, not only because of the material itself, but also because of the design flexibility. Silicone molding offers an incredible resistance against chemicals and a permanent sealing solution between rigid components. Unlike thermoplastic injection molding, where the material goes through a heat transformational process only, silicone injection molding combines two components. Mix an A and a B, mixes through a mixing chamber, mixed, chilled, and shot under pressure into a mold. The mold is heated anywhere from 320 to 365 degrees. Where the heat of the mold itself cures the material into a final product. Undercuts, uh, over molding, is not difficult in silicone. A lot of times a configuration that would not be possible in thermoplastic or even thermoplastic elastomer is possible in silicone. Silicone molding lends itself to implants, lends itself to very harsh environments that can be typically high heat. Silicone injection molding, also known as liquid injection molding, has some very specific requirements. The tooling is very demanding. I love what I do. Uh, I have a lot of freedom. I'm always pushing the limits of the machines, the tools. What can we do? Can we do it faster? Can we do it cheaper? Can we do it, you know, better? At Ash Industries, we're experts at building the components you need to mold the parts necessary to fulfill your unique application. In any component, whether flexible or not, tolerances and meeting specifications is a necessity. Typically with Thermoset, the coefficient expansion is not as great as in thermoplastic. So it stays pretty stable for whatever your tool is built. The barometer is associated with hardness. Silicone is silicone, but it comes in any number of different durometers. You might want the silicone to be a little bit harder or stiffer. In other applications, you might need it to be entirely flexible, as in a set of bellows. We can aid in uh, developing your product from napkin sketch all the way through to final assembly and packaging. Uh, we've done enough various types of parts that we know where failures may occur when we're in the design stage and see designing parts. Keep in mind, it is chemically inert, which means in jet fighters or in, out in the real world in commercial applications where you don't really know what types of substances may be attacking your component silicone could be the ideal solution. Specifically when you're over molding a wire or maybe you're protecting another assembly or you're trying to fulfill a unique circumstance and you don't know if the material is acidic, caustic, or petroleum based. What makes us good is we think on our feet. Uh, we try to minimize things that may happen by looking ahead.